expensive. Any other questions? Yes. What does Mario do on a daily basis? Oh my gosh. He has a full life. That's why I say don't feel sorry for Mario. He has a wonderful life. He goes to the YMCA to swim at the arthritis class two or three times a week. He goes and has private art lessons that are gifted to him. He manifests. He wanted art. I couldn't find him a class. Couldn't afford private lessons. Someone from Ch says, I'd like to do art with Mario. What? I would like to do art with Mario. Do you think he'd like it? What? I want to do art with Mario. We have paintings in the back. We have posters we sell for $5. And he has, sell, he has sold uh, paintings to people. And Kaiser Hospital bought three. And he's having an art show July 2nd. And it will be on my website. So make sure you get a business card if you would like to see what Mario's doing. He also drives horses. You sit in a and you drive the horses with Mike Muir, John Muir's great-grandson. He does that. He recently helped um, distribute food to the homeless with one of our caregivers, Ken. He went there, and he visits a brain-injured gal, Allison, who was supposed to die, never get better, two years in hospitals. And she'll be coming home to her house, um, I think, June or July. And he holds her hand and gives her love. We've been doing that for about six months now or eight months. I don't know. Time just goes. But he has a very, very full, full life. But it's very challenging for his family. <laughs> it's not easy. He's a full-time job. Lots of love, but he's a full-time job. Okay, anybody else? Was there a defining moment? Um, I think when Mario first came home, came home in January, and he was raging. Do you have that picture of him raging? He was just, he was so unhappy. He was so miserable. And he, that's one of his worst looking pictures. He was raging. He was just like, oh, and he's pulling the food tube out all the time. And we'd about had it, my husband and I. We were just at the end of our rope, you know, where you just can't take it anymore. And so, like I said, I'm a spiritual person, and I don't care what your belief system is. It can be whatever. But I just kept praying, help us. We can't go on like this. And we got a miracle. And the miracle happened that uh, Mario changed his attitude. He went from being angry and miserable and bitter to kind of angelic and he still has his moments but he went from you know 50 percent of the time being miserable to 95 percent of the time being a love if you haven't gotten a hug from mario you want to experience that it's pure unconditional love people have told me not just little youngsters that are 10 years old but you know people that are in their 60s the wise ones they said i've never felt a hug and so much love as I have felt from Mario in my entire life. <coughs> now, when somebody's in their 60s and they say their entire life, that's pretty meaningful. So um, he's been touched. He's not our, the normal, everyday person. But we can all be like Mario, all of us. It's just hooking into that love. He's non-judgmental. Another question? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, the guys here at the house, a lot of them would be clean uh, sober, out there walking into the 7-Eleven and probably meet some young kid a little bit younger than the legal age who might uh, ask them to buy them some beer. And uh, that's really all this, when you get right down to it, I mean, it can happen just like that. And what, do you have any thoughts about that? I mean, my thoughts on that is just like, why take chances? I mean, so many chances we already took that we have to pay for, and it's not worth it to risk it. Even though it's like, you want to be the cool person, because probably you've done that and someone hooks you up. But, you know, like, it's good to be selfish in your life at times, because you need to, you need to take what, what you want and do what you want to get out of your life. So, if you just run across any, like, 
circumstances, just try to, you know, avoid it, you know, just like, do what you gotta do to just bring your life back to the spot where you wanna be, because all you guys have potential, you know, everybody here can do whatever, as long as you...